To add the transitions, you can see this little um, circle button here. What you can do is click and you can see there's lots of uh, transitions here. Uh, you can select any of these or you can select the slides when you see the arrow pointing here. You have the slides options here to choose from slide from left, top, left, bottom. Uh, you can also use the spin 180 and also the warp. These are nice transitions that you can use for your videos. So once you select one, you can see the icon of the transitions you are applying to your clip. Now, to add the text to the clip, we can select the text here. And you can see all these ones are template or text template, which you can select any one of these. And since we are applying to this, you can see, select any one of these and come up here and type in your text. And as you can see, once we type in the text, the effect of that text is applied to that. So if we just move back a little bit up here, and play that you can see okay so it's only apply and then once it dissolve out the trend the text uh, template or the animations uh, faded away as well you can choose this other but if you don't want any of the text or the animation or the background displayed you can always choose no style so once you click no style it's just the text and then you can use the poses in here. This also applies to other text template here as well. You can choose the uh, up here to change the text to whatever position you want to. And you can change by clicking, change the color by clicking the color palette here to change the color of the text. And you can increase the size and decrease the size. Speed the animation, for example, if you Using this, uh, we can speed up the animation or we can slow down the animation. Once you're happy with that, you're done. Click done to go out of again. So now we have, you can see the text uh, name that we just type in appeared on the clip that you just overlaid with your text.